So two weeks back, I attended Data Engineering Summit 2024 in Bangalore and what an experience that was to be very honest because there was super amazing conversation about the data engineering in this two days of event like the generative AI, generative AI based product, how AI is getting integrated with the data engineering, how you can build the scalable data pipelines with the help of AI and many amazing cloud based architectures and beautiful use cases about the data engineering were discussed and the thing which I really liked the most about this data engineering summit that was the amazing startups. They were there to showcase their product and it was really good to see that how these startups are building innovative data products which are actually helping the organizations in their data analytic solutions. Among all these things, there was one startup which seeked my attention the most and that was Double Cloud. Their idea is really mind blowing. So imagine you are building a data pipeline and your company is basically trying to build the data analytics solution end to end. Then what is the most challenging part? Absolutely the infrastructure setup and they have literally solved this problem and with the help of double cloud, you can set up your data analytics related infrastructure in just few clicks and that completely blew my mind and I thought why not to have a deep dive discussion about this product from their team, whoever is representing that double cloud in the data engineering summit. So I had a conversation with their representative Deepan and he shared every single thing about the double cloud, how it works, what kind of use cases it is solving, how you can basically use it and what kind of technologies and tech stack they are using behind the double cloud. So watch this podcast till the very end. It will be really informative because you will get to know about this amazing product. And if you have come across such type of amazing data related products or any company which is building innovative solutions, then put that in the comment section. I would really love to explore about them. So we are here at the Data Engineering Summit 2024 and I am here with the lovely team of Double Cloud and Deepan is here with us. He is representing the Double Cloud and we will get to know more about this product. So Deepan, first, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, sure. Hi, myself Deepan. I am working as a senior product manager at Double Cloud. So my responsibilities around Double Cloud are more around like product initiatives, I drive the product initiatives within the Double Cloud and uh, paving the way of the roadmap within uh, Double Cloud as well. Awesome. So now I know you guys are thinking what Double Cloud is, what it does. So let's get to know more about it. So Deepin, if you would like to explain a bit about it, what is Double Cloud and what kind of problem we are solving for other customers with this product? Yeah, before even jumping onto what Double Cloud is, maybe I'll explain like what problem it is solving. So the problems are mostly like what we hear from customers. We did like a bunch of surveys, talked to different customers. The main problem comes around like three uh, main things. Like one is the performance. They are always looking for like more faster analytical performance. And the second thing is more on like, it's still like uh, they need a very good price because they obviously want a better performance, but a lower cost. And the third one, most important thing is like managing the whole infrastructure itself. It's a very painstaking process. Like if you are running on your own open source uh, technologies, you wanted to manage, uh, let's take an example of Kafka, or any uh, ClickHouse instance. So it's not just about the Kafka ClickHouse itself. So it's more than that. So it's there are like monitoring components on top of it, logging mechanism. So with Double Cloud, so it all comes in as a package solution. And the thing is like we built it on our open source technologies, like proven open source technologies like Kafka, ClickHouse. So so it kind of like becomes like a Lego piece. Like uh, you, the customers can just pick from like whichever stack they want. Like you want to go for real time data analytics. So we have a ClickHouse uh, database, which is uh, one of the fastest database for processing uh, the query in a lightning speed and it's more like uh, they can just pick and choose and uh, it's built on open source so there's no vendor lock-in and uh, the price is really like, significant and it's compared with the price and uh, performance double cloud offers up to like 70x in terms of uh, fast in terms of fast analytics and like 5x in terms of the cost savings this is pretty awesome so maybe as a benchmarking number uh, on an average how much time would it take for a customer to set up their infrastructure with the help of double cloud yeah literally if you just say like it would just take a uh, uh, minutes depending on like how the <laughs> is but uh, in 
real given ideal situation so we also have a like a developer friendly ways of deploying it as well so it's not just like a fancy ui we also build this product so that it's developer friendly so we kept the developers in the focus because we know their pain like how uh, they process the data infrastructure or how they manage it so that's why we build like terraform scripts public apis which they can build it within the day-to-day -day ecosystem of their devops pipeline and then it should be just like uh, minutes to maybe max a day depending on the use case and the cluster sizing so that's kind of a scale in which uh, it becomes more easily accessible that's pretty good so uh, now if you would like to highlight that one very specific problem which companies face uh, when they are starting with their data analytics solution and how they how uh, double cloud is solving that problem yeah so what happens is like they uh, any customer they end up going with any abrupt solution like proprietary solutions say that's okay it's quite easy it's uh, they just have a lot of uh, news about it so they just quickly spin it up and then go ahead but what they face is like they're locked into that ecosystem like aws or gcp so they're all locked into the ecosystem and but the fact is like there are a bunch of different beautiful fast performance of open source technologies in the market so using which they can easily spin it up but the fact is like they need a time and uh, effort to manage it build layers on top of it that's where double cloud shines where we bring all this beautiful open source data stack solutions right from the data ingestion until the visualization layer where you can build dashboards everything under a single roof where you can just spin it up uh, on a like, few clicks of a button or using a terraform scripts awesome and yeah infrastructure is the biggest pain uh, anyone can have and i'm glad that we have a, this kind of amazing solution which is uh, helping the customers to solve this problem now a lot of people will be interested to know the behind the scenes of the double cloud so if we talk about the tech part of the double cloud what does it use behind the scenes uh, which makes it different from others so the differentiation factor is like we do not have a flavored version of a solution like we don't have a hard fork of kafka we don't uh, change some existing change in our open source so we use the pure open source uh, flavors of kafka or clickhouse which is available in the market so that there's no vendor lock in any in, in any way so it's all built around that open source stack so uh, it, it, you can take any proprietary solution and with different cloud solutions. So they made some modifications on top of it. So which makes it very difficult for customers to move away from them if they wanted to uh, have some different options or opinions or something like that. With Double Cloud, that's a unique different thing. Like we have expertise in different uh, open source uh, toolings. Like we have expertise in ClickHouse, also in Kafka, where we all uh, we also manage all these different open source versionings so that making sure like the new versions of open source whichever comes in is stable so and all put together make it more easy and developer friendly so our core principle i would say is like staying true to open source and we also have some plans to make some of our other products open source so that we contribute back to our community so staying true to open source and also being more developer friendly making it easy for developer community to access it awesome uh, so there would be many users who might be hearing about the ClickHouse for the very first time. So my next follow-up question is, uh, why ClickHouse specifically uh, and what kind of capabilities it is bringing into the system which other NoSQL databases couldn't? Yeah, so ClickHouse is actually one of the most popular uh, open source OLAP data store, OLAP, OLAP database actually. What it brings into it is like because of its columnar uh, nature of uh, data structure, it brings in lightning fast uh, query speeds like uh, there are like bunch of uh, uh, companies like big companies like uber uh, uh, cloudflare even uh, spotify all are using clickhouse the only reason is because of its cost savings it brings in the deployment of the infrastructure of clickhouse and the qu faster query speeds so there are like uh, you can just think about it like 70x of query speed like you'll be able to uh, process like billions of rows in like few seconds i think you can also look into like a uh, website where they show the benchmarks of clickhouse with popular other databases like Postgres, Snowflake, and also BigQuery. Snow, uh, ClickHouse is always in the lowest uh, in terms of processing the query speed. It has a very fast query speed compared to all other different things. That's what most people use for. And in terms of use cases, if you see, ClickHouse is mainly uh, useful for like real-time analytics. So it itself is known for like processing queries in lightning squad. And when it combined with, let's say, Kafka or any other ingestion sources, it becomes even more robust because it, it, it one side you have this Kafka which is feeding all this uh, stream of data into ClickHouse using a transfer service what Double Cloud has, and uh, you have this beautiful insights you can just think of. You cannot even think of. There are, for example, like customers who discovered a new ways where they were able to market such solutions to the customers. So because of this, 
capability of ClickHouse. They were able to introduce a new product line within their own products, which you can then upsell within for the customers. So that's the capability what ClickHouse brings in. That sounds pretty amazing. And uh, I guess now I also got a bit curious to explore more about ClickHouse. And I will definitely do that. So far, we have talked about uh, the tech and the kind of problems it is solving. So would you like to highlight any specific analytics problem uh, maybe with an example which double cloud has solved maybe i can be more specific let's say batch pipeline real-time data pipeline so what kind of integration does it provide in terms of the sources and destinations so within double cloud we have a different components so we offer a managed kafka cluster so which is useful for processing all this faster low latency data ingestion on the other side, we also offer managed ClickHouse, which is like one of the fastest uh, OLAP database. So combining these two things, we need to move data from sources, not just from Kafka. We also have different other sources like be it uh, Snowflake, be it uh, BigQuery or anything. So we also offer an uh, ELT service, ETL ELT service, depending on what we call it nowadays. So we call it double cloud transfer, so which you can move all these data sets to uh, ClickHouse for faster analytics. So there are like specific use cases around like a couple of our customers who are retail customers. So they were able to leverage all this real-time streaming uh, and they were able to build the time to market to uh, give out this product uh, to, uh, uh, to their own customers was like less than weeks. So they were able to spin up right from the data ingestion until the dashboards which they can share it to partners in less than weeks. If you think of it in a like a non-managed way of doing it, then it's going to be like it's going to take days and days because they have to set up all the pipelines, monitoring. It's everything is surrounding it. So this is one of the use case where uh, Double Cloud uh, sees like real-time analytics, logs, metrics, observability. So this is one of a specific use case where we see like a lot of customers are going in combination of ClickHouse and uh, Kafka or using uh, like. Uh, side cut solution together with Postgres. Let's say they wanted to have a faster analytics, but they have an uh, operational uh, database which is put up in a Postgres. So there are situations where they offload a couple of workloads to ClickHouse to make it more faster, to make it more, create some more insights out of it. These are like different use cases where we see like our customers are using Double Cloud. It's good to see that uh, it's not just solving the problem of infrastructure, but giving the entire solution in under just one umbrella. So I have just two more questions for you, Deepan. Uh, can you please give some benchmarking related to the performance of Double Cloud if you maybe compare with your competitors? You uh, just you can, can't take the names, but any any benchmarking you would like to give to the users. Plus, how much tech expertise is required uh, from your customers to use the Double Cloud, specifically from their maybe DevOps team or the engineering or the team system yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So as I said, like uh, time to market is one of our uh, goal, which customers have managed it. Like they were able to spin up uh, all this data infrastructure within a few minutes. The reason is because there is no manual uh, intervention or configurations needed. If you're going for UI approach, it's just a few clicks of button, choose your cloud region. Either it's going to be your own uh, cloud uh, deployment or it's on uh, our own cloud de deployment. So we yeah, offer the SaaS, you provide the SaaS part of it yeah, and you yeah. can so, deploy on there. Yeah, we offer two uh, deployment models where we are deployed in our own AWS uh, instances or customers who are having this uh, they are more prone to like security concerns, governance. So in that such cases, we also deploy such models, uh, the infrastructure within their own uh, customers' infrastructure as well, uh, cloud infrastructure as well. So this is something which makes it uh, time to market for customers to very less. Where everything is just few clicks, or even if it's developer friendly with Terraform scripts, it's just going to be just few lines of configurations and you're good to go. So that's the level of uh, configuration what we uh, see, and it's very easy to set up. All right. So uh, now coming to the point, because you have mentioned about the security observability. So this is definitely one of the important aspect. Uh, customers first think about the observability, security, and apart from that, monitoring about the infrastructure, running things properly. So how does uh, Double Cloud has solved this problem as well? Like, uh, is it already there on the UI and everything can be monitored and can be taken care? So regarding the security aspects, so we have a bunch of uh, security compliance. You can look into our trust page on our website. So we have uh, PCI, SOC 2, uh, Type 2 uh, audits. Everything is compliant. And uh, in terms of the product itself, within the product, so we have all these different integration capabilities, specially built thinking uh, or keeping developers in mind, like uh, integration with logs. Imagine like within your organization, you are using uh, Prometheus or Grafana 
or Datadog. So it's very pain process, like if you are managing the data infrastructure to build all these pipelines, to push the logs to all the system. So within Double Cloud, we made it easy with just few clicks, with a, just provide API key of Datadog, and then it's just good to go with it. And also, we also have this monitoring capabilities baked into it, so that we don't need to spend some time to uh, write some uh, graph, build some Grafana charts yeah. to monitor it. So everything is built in and also you can set up notifications, also roles specifically because since everything is in one single uh, platform, so we have a different robust role management where you can just say like, hey, there's a BA analyst who just wants access to maybe just the visualization tool. There you go, you can have a specific user dedicated who's just working on a dashboards, do not have access to the data. So that's kind of a segre segregation of roles, it's so clear. And also within the transfer itself, so there are also parts of uh, governance baked in, like for example, you're moving data from Postgres to ClickHouse. You do not want all the data to be moved for analytical purposes. So you need some kind of level of governance. So there are ways where you can just mask such columns which you do not want it to be moved to ClickHouse. So those are the uh, PII data. Yeah, something like PII data. All things are baked into transfer service. So on a holistic picture, right from the product, so we have role management, we have this logging mechanism, integration with third-party logging tools, notification system in case of there's an instance that's failure. So these are all like thinking in terms of developer mindset. So we build all these features so that it makes developers' life easy. No, I can truly understand this pain because I remember one of the use cases I was building and there, for the observability part, yes, you are correct. I had to look around the data doc, the pager duty, the Splunk dashboarding, everything. And definitely takes time, right? It increases the development time. And it's good that everything is covered just uh, under one umbrella. So, yep, that is pretty much we had for this amazing conversation. So, thanks to the entire Double Cloud team and especially Deepan, uh, who joined us today and explained everything about the Double Cloud. So if you are also someone who wants to solve these problems, in specifically the infrastructure related problems, then you should definitely check out the Double Cloud platform. Link will be given in the description. And if you have any query, you can always reach out to the tech team of the Double Cloud. So thank you, Deepan, joining so us. Much. It was really nice meeting yeah. you. Any, any maybe last words you would like to say with our audience or any data enthusiasts who is watching this? Yeah, so guys, we, it's, we build this double cloud keeping developers in mind. So feel free to sign up for trial and then uh, have a look at it. Yes, we love your feedback. We are building this platform for you guys. So we love your feedback, actually. So thank awesome. You. Thank you. That's what we had for you. Thank you, guys.